I'm Devin Supertramp, and I'm going to New Zealand on an epic adventure. But before I do that, I gotta get ready. Devin. Woody, it's been a while. How's it going, buddy? Good, man. What's up with this adventure to New Zealand? So we're taking over one of the world's biggest all-natural waterfall rock slides. Got a bunch of boogie boards and inner tubes and have some fun. Nice. Well, let's get you ready. Bring it on. hear about this place. So we're always looking for the next big thing and we, we found a guy online who, who contacted us and he's like, you should come out to New Zealand. There's this spot that we just kind of discovered on our own. What if we could take it to the next level, build a couple of jumps, put them out there and kind of see what goes down. Wow, could someone get hurt doing that? Well, questionable. Jordan doesn't think his nose is broke, but I'm almost positive that it is. You guys are crazy, man. To be New Zealand's kind of like one of the adventure capitals of the world. And the people are amazing and the scenery is phenomenal. We're trying to film as many things as we can while we're out there. We're also bringing a guy that actually flies a remote control helicopter. I'm excited to see some pictures and hear about the adventure, man. I'm sure you'll have plenty of content for me to see when you get back. Probably need another shave by then, too. You know, these blades are great, man. This little thing flips back so you can get real tight underneath your nose here. Get all those little hard to reach spots, but then you flip it back. Great razors, man. Man, you're gonna feel so good. Oh, it feels amazing already. Well, bud, look forward to having you come back from your epic adventure. Can we tell you all about it, my friend? No redness, no irritation. You're ready to go big. Everything I do is epic. Even my shave. So here is our operation. There's my shadow. Hi guys. So Chris is charging his batteries. It looks like there's explosives going on. And then you got all this stuff here. And we're downloading footage as we speak from today. So we got the red right now and we're putting that into our hard drive. And then we also got our GoPro battery charging at the same time, so it's a full on operation. So we just made it to our next location. So this is an all natural slide and it's like perfectly made. Slick moss, so it just slides down and goes into a natural pool. Apparently, I'm going to be paddling down here and I'm going to try and uh, go all the way down the, the rock slide on the boat. We always, during golden hour, have these intros that are very mysterious. So we thought, let's have this small little rowboat with Louie in it, just paddling like normal, and we're going to shoot a couple of really tight shots. Then after that, we're going to use Chris with his helicopter, and then the camera's going to pull back and reveal this waterfall. So we thought it'd be kind of fun. The water's not actually affecting the glide cam itself. So if I just out here normally doing a handheld, it'd be a lot shakier. So this is making it so we can get a lot smoother. I'm the first one today to try this out. Um, and it's the establishing shot for the whole video. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous because I've not tried this. I don't know how fast we'll be going. I might flip the boat on the way down. Who knows? Um, but I'm up for it. I'm up for it. So here we are in New Zealand and we invited all the locals to be a part of this. Because we're doing this video with Schick, everyone needed to be clean shaven because hey, we're doing this with a razor company. So John contacted us and he's like, I'd love to be a part of it, but he's like, I have a beard, I've had it for the last six years. Is it really thick on lane? Am I good? <laughs> I'm good. Everybody, try not to hold the camera sideways like this. Make sure to hold it like this, and you can hold it like this, that's fine as well. And then make sure it's dry, and then worst case scenario, you can always lick the lens, that works. <laughs> so the dangers of filming uh, right next to water with the red is uh, 
People are splashing all over the place. We had a, uh, a dry bag for the red this trip that we just bought, but Devin left it in his driveway in his suitcase. So we'll go without for now, but cross our fingers, I guess. Oh. 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 Did you see that? I think so. We are, I don't even know what the sport's called, but watch and learn. Now the key to going down the rock side is uh, just staying straight and skimming over the cracks in the rock. Uh -huh. so you pick a lot up of speed. Cracks. Yeah, you go fast, just gotta go hard. But you don't commit, you're gonna get hurt. It's game over, yeah. right? This is the oh. triage center. This is the triage center. I broke my knuckles, he broke his shoulder. <laughs> you broke your knuckles, how do you break your knuckles? We're going down the ramp and hitting it way too hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here we are with Jordan from Stoke for Saturday. He's been helping us out. Little did we know, he is a super big adrenaline junkie. He has gone down every stunt we've done and he's gone down hard too. Yeah, so what they didn't tell us is that when you hit the ramp, the ramp hits back hard. And now I gotta pay the price for it. Jordan doesn't think his nose is broke, but I'm almost positive that it is. I think we'll find out tomorrow, but it feels okay. But that might just be because it's been such an epic day. So here we are at the hospital with Jordan. So now we're just waiting. It's about 9 o'clock. We got a five hour drive ahead of us tonight. So as soon as we get out of here, we're going to go back up and meet Team 2. Hopefully Jordan's schnauz is okay though. That's, that's number one. I'm hoping so. I'm also hoping we have time to get some sleep tonight. Because we've already had one night where we only got two hours sleep and that wasn't a very fun night. Safety first at Team Stripper. Oh, yes. Um, from Money Tuki, which is just down the road. Kind of come down here ever since we were younger, and um, a couple years ago, my brother decided that it'd be a good idea to try and build a ramp <laughs> just to take it to the next level. Yeah. You broke a lot of broken bones? Nah, not many broken bones, a lot of scars, a lot of cuts. Okay. Casualties of war for a good time, eh? <laughs> <laughs> We had a blast, we got all the locals out, everyone had fun, there may or may not have been a couple broken bones, but everyone left super happy and super stoked on it, and it was just awesome location, as you can see, one of my favorite shoes. I had a blast, I don't always get to get involved with our videos, but this is one of them I got to get involved with, and yeah, we shot it on a couple different cameras, we shot it on the GoPro 4, Red Dragon, and the Phantom Mirror, and then we also had the Red Scarlet on the octocopter that you guys saw that Chris Newman was piloting. But this video would not have happened without Schick being a part of it. So super thanks to them for making this happen. We've been wanting to do this for a long, long time. And because of the new Schick Hydro Razor, it fit perfectly as far as the whole water theme that we wanted to do anyway. So it was a win-win for everybody. Thanks Schick, thanks to our fans, thanks to New Zealand. Other than that, over and out.